All right guys, so today I want to talk about how I kind of go about mowing big acreage properties. Uh, in a video I did yesterday, I, I kind of asked the question on how guys do it with their per acre mowing rate. Do they give discounts for multiple acres? Things like that. Um, I already kind of had an idea of how I wanted to do it, uh, but I kind of wanted to get some feedback to see how other people do it. And a lot of people do it the same way that I I did mine and I plan on doing in the future. Uh, a lot of guys did, did things a little bit different, which is fine. But for me, I kind of want to show you guys how I go about doing it and kind of the just, just kind of the overall thinking of how I'm going to approach acreage properties. And this is something I really didn't think about before, uh, actually just a couple days ago when I got a call to bid five acres. Um, I actually went out yesterday and looking at a property that is 16 acres. That's a commercial property, uh, but that's the size of the whole place. The building covers about three or four acres, so we're looking at about 12 acres of mowing. So, so that's you know more than I have to mow. So since I've never mowed a property that size before, what I did is I just kind of, I got on my phone and I, there's a, uh, there's a mowing calculator that I found. And I know this is not 100% accurate, but it kind of gives me a rough estimate of how much acreage I can mow per hour with my 52 inch walker. So basically what it does is you put in the width, I know you guys can't see that, but you put in the width of your, of your deck, you put in your speed, and I just put seven miles an hour. I think that might be a little low. I think I could probably get up around eight or nine. Uh, but I put seven just to be on the safe side. They do put in a 10% overlap that is calculated in the overall, overall thing of it. And uh, it says here that I can mow 3.3 acres per hour. So we got the five acre property. I went out and looked at it. And I didn't do this calculator before I went out there. I did this one. I just found this one. Uh, because the five acre one, I can kind of judge, I can kind of tell how long it's going to take me. And when I go bid properties, I bid them on, I don't bid them on, you know, I'm going to have three people on this property. I bid it as how long is it going to take me myself to do this property. And a lot of times on a bigger property, I kind of over guesstimate just to kind of give myself a little wiggle room, make sure I don't uh, come in too low and I'm not making any money. So on this one here, what I did was, you know, I looked at it, uh, I measured it on Google Maps and all that, and, you know, I think I can mow this property by myself in four hours. So that's four hours of mowing solo, and I think I can probably get it done in about two hours with two people. So what I did was I took my hourly rate, and let's say just, just off the top of my head, let's say my hourly rate is 50 bucks. So 50 bucks at four hours, is two hundred dollars. Fifty bucks at two hours with two people. It's fifty bucks per person per hour. It comes out the same. Two hundred dollars. <throat> now, I called a friend of mine up and I asked him. I said, you know, do you have any experience uh, bidding on big acres properties? I don't. You know, how do you kind of go about doing it? And uh, you know, I kind of told him kind of what I was thinking. I was thinking in the $250, $300 range is what I was thinking just right off the bat without looking at it. And, uh, you know, he, he, brought up the, he brought up this scenario. He's like, is that enough money to make, you know, let's say you are tied up for four hours. That's half a day. Is that enough money to make? And I kind of gave him this example. Let's say it takes me by myself four hours. Now, how many single properties can I do in four hours by myself? You know, if they're closely knit, I can probably do five or six. Let's say I can do five. Five singles. Okay, let's say I can do five singles in four hours. That's including drive time, loading, unloading, everything like that. And let's say my average, average price on those five properties is $40. Well, that comes out to the same, about $200. So here we are, right about the same. And you know, the reason why I bring this up is because right, right off the bat, I thought $200 was low. I thought it was pretty low. And uh, you know, I just, I just thought it was. You know, it just seemed low to be there half a day, only getting $200. But when you think of it like this, if I'm doing five singles by myself, 
and I'm making $200, then what's the difference? Here's the difference, in my opinion, this is a, this is a way better deal because here I don't have to unload but one time and load up one time. I'm not traveling to five different houses. So which one do you guys think is the better deal? I think the five acres is the better deal. The same price, but I'm not traveling to five different places. I'm not loading and unloading my equipment five different times and I'm gonna end up making more money on this one right here. Uh, you know, depending on your hourly rate, depending on all that, um, you know, your, your price might be a little bit higher per man, by yourself, whatever, it doesn't matter. I just used a good round number of $50 per hour just so we can kind of do the math. And one of the reasons why I bring this up is because I've heard a lot of guys say, you know, I don't mow anything for less than 100 bucks an acre. So if, if I was to go bid five acres with that mentality, then it, I would have been turning in a bid of $500 per mow. So $500 per mow, and they want it done every two weeks, so that's $1,000 a month. I can pretty much guarantee you around here, you're not getting that job. Now that might be to your benefit, you know, maybe you don't want that job if you're not going to get paid that money. That's that's your decision, and I you know I fully respect that. But for me, it's just as it's just as easy to make two hundred dollars on five acres than it is to mow five singles by myself. I just wanted to kind of share with you guys my thought process when I turned in this bid, and kind of what I was thinking about. And you know, I, I try not to overthink things. A lot of times, I do overthink things. And I make things way more complicated than it is. You know, in our industry, basically, you know, everybody will tell you, you're just trading your time for money. And you know, you have to figure out how much your time is worth, what your hourly rate is. You go bid a job, you guesstimate, you know, how much, you're, how much, that, how much time it's gonna take you to do it. That's all you need to know. So I hope this helped at least one person, probably confused a whole bunch of people. But like always guys, be happy, be humble, stay hungry.